we've been working at creating better training environments for, for the Marines who are, who are on the ground. And so systems that use some video game technology, tracking technologies, artificial intelligence, simulated weapons, things of that sort, uh, along with more traditional things like live role players, so actors who can play the parts of just local, the local population or, or the bad guys, using Hollywood sets and, and those kinds of things to create a very realistic training environment to look at tactics, look at what the ways to communicate effectively with just, just people in the, in the area, how to deal with the stress when suddenly things get very active and very intense and, and, and very violent, uh, and then how to, to recover from that, how to calm down and, and, and go back into a more controlled and normal situation after that, uh, after having just been in a very intense fight and go on with your, your day's activities. We're learning more about the human physiology, about how it deals with stress, and and what things people can do to, to, to help master their own fear and anxiety uh, in those very intense situations, and that's part of our research as well. Dealing with sleep deprivation, you know, everybody is, is busy these days and wants to squeeze in more, more wake time, uh, more time to do work, more time to play and enjoy themselves, and uh, you know, we're a society that, you know, addicted to caffeine, so we're sleeping less and, and, and doing more things awake, and so it's kind of a chronic situation, uh, even for those of us at home. Uh, you know, shift workers who have to work at night have to deal with this kind of stuff all the time as well. You know, aircraft pilots and folks who, who do these long-haul missions, uh, but, but have jobs where they have to work uh, long hours. It applies to all of those things as well. So in the sciences, it's kind of a combination of, you know, you're, you're on your own, you're exploring your own interests, but at the same time, you can only do very little when you, when you do it on your own. So you, you need to find other folks who, who have matching interests and can help support your interests and you help support them. Uh, and then, of course, you know, there are, are other folks who aren't just doing the science, but are doing the financial part or doing the planning part. And it's not maybe what you first think about when you think about doing science, but they're vital uh, f to enable you to do what you do because, you know, your laboratory equipment costs money and the, and the people that help you carry out the experiments cost money and it takes resources, it takes, you know, computers and other uh, resources to, to enable you to do your job. And so all of that is vital. So it really is a, a large collaborative team of, of a lot of different folks with a lot of different skills that, that aren't all science skills that are necessary to, to do what we do. It's, it's something that gives you a strong sense of personal reward when you are able to explore new things and, and do things that nobody's ever done before, learn things that nobody else knows. Pursue your, your passions and your questions. When you're grown up, you get Get so few opportunities to really do that. There aren't that many jobs that allow you to do that. And this is, you know, the sciences and the engineering fields are ones that allow you to do that every day.